All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well. Today's episode, what we're going to do is we're going to start building that cabinet. The, this little cabinet that we said we're going to be putting at the side of the NIOS, yeah, we're going to get onto that. Um, we're going to head over to b &Q. We're going to get that all cut. Hopefully, I can do a little bit of filming. I don't know how they like with filming. If not, I'll do it sneakily. Um, do a bit of filming. And, uh, yeah, when we get home, I'll show you exactly what we've uh, what we've got Basically, a and q if you don't know, it's like a, for some of our American viewers or, you know, somebody European. Basically, it's a big um, warehouse that stocks everything, absolutely everything, and anything you could ever need. But they also do uh, cutting of MDF or any other plywood that you need. So that's where we're going to go. We're going to go get some MDF, maybe 15 mil, 12 mil, whichever one they've got. Do that, get that cut on the uh, store, they, they cut it for you uh, to your sizes. So I've made the sizes and fingers crossed it'll all go to plan. So what we'll do is we'll head over there, do a little bit of filming and we'll uh, we'll get back over there. So yeah, I'll see you shortly guys. Right guys, so we're back home, and as you can see, we've got all the cuts. These are all the cuts that's going to be happening. Here we've got the three sides, uh, two sides in the back. We've got a top shelf and the bottom shelf there. We've got the top and the bottom, and we've got um, these runners that are going to be going on it. Now what I'll do is I'll show you exactly. I've already marked some of it up. Um, we'll head over here, and as you can see, we've already marked some of the things that we're going to be doing. And this is it. So as you can see, these are the lines. This is where the rail is going to go. So we're going to be putting this here. The top obviously goes on the bottom, on the top there. Then the bottom, this is where the other rail is going to go. And then this is the, obviously the bottom part. But what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll basically film this more in a minute when I uh, when I get it cut, when I get it drilled, and we'll go from there, guys. Right guys, so while I'm here, I thought I'd uh, quickly show you. I also got these. These are just some feet, little Velcro feet that we've got. We're going to be putting them onto the onto the bottom of it. Basically, I don't want it scratching the floor in, to be fair as well. Plus, the missus will probably divorce me if I did. So, we've got to get them on. But like I said, these these are going to be the runners, the little rails that we're going to think. Now, I could have got some normal runner rails for it, to be fair. Um, but the truth be told... It's just going to be fixed in place. We're going to what we're going to do is we're also going to paint the inside of this. Now, I've ordered some wrap. I don't know how that's going to go, guys. I'm going to order that. I've ordered that. Sorry, that's on its way tomorrow. So fingers crossed. We'll get this cut, get it all drilled, get it painted, and uh, yeah, I'll get back to you once it's all once it's all up and running. And uh, yeah, fingers crossed, everything will be fine. So I'll drill it, and then we'll uh, fix it together, and then I'll. Uh, I'll paint it and then we'll show the, the finished Sota Call uh, uh, article. Um, and yeah, hopefully everything's gone to plan, guys, with no mistakes. Right, guys. So here we go. And this is the cabinet that I've just done, built. And yeah, to be honest, I'm really happy with the way it's turned out, in all fairness. I mean, got nice, a nice little lip. Remember what we're doing? And we're going we're to wrap it. I'm going to paint the inside grey. Um, and then obviously wrap all the outside. But I think it, it's turned out pretty good, to be fair. I mean, these little baskets are just going to be for, um, you know, my test kits. I'm going to put all my test kits in here. And it, I measured it just enough so it would just literally just fit on there. So really, I'm pretty, I'm pretty lucky there, to be honest. It's worked out fine. Um, I've got the second shelf here. What I am going to do is I'm going to be cutting out the back just there. I'm going to be cutting out circle there obviously to get all the cables in there but uh, I need to get a jigsaw my dad's got the jigsaw so I'm going to get that off him when he gets home cut that out and then what we'll do is uh, we'll paint that then we'll be able to I'll be able to just sand it bit of a rough sand sand it all down uh, so none of the cables um, I mean especially like if I change my mind then I put the Neptune um, trident in it or the you know if I set managed to if I want, want to set my uh, KH keep it up I've got that option then. I can put both in here 
Um, and you never know, in the future I might even get some more testers, you never know. Get them in here. Obviously the cables will all go in here as well. But not only that though guys, I can lift this shelf up here and I can put cables just underneath it. It's just to open it's the, bo the bottom of it, but it, let's see if I can lift it up. I mean this shelf is a pretty tight fit, but there you go. So basically I've got plenty of space underneath there. Can house loads of cables under, under that if I wanted to, to be, to be honest. Um, I can actually move this here further. So let me just see, I can move this. Ugh. I can move the shelf here further away so we can get the cables down the back and then we don't need to cut the shelf because as long as the shelf literally comes up to this gap here we've got enough because the, as you can see this let me just get it here this is what's going to happen is we've got the hex board from exodus this is going to sit just on top and while i'm here i'll get my uh, missus to film probably just there like so now, if you see, and that's how it's going to go. This is going to get wrapped as well. The hex board's going to get wrapped. And I think that looks pretty sick, to be honest. I think it'll look uh, super, super good when it's uh, when it's done. And then maybe uh, the missus is going on about a plant. So maybe we could get a little small plant to go on top of this as well when we've uh, set it up. But once it's all set up, guys, it'll, I think it'll look absolutely brilliant. Let me know what you think. But uh, what I'll do is I'll film, I'll finish off painting it do it all up and then I'll come back to you when it's uh, completely finished and then uh, yeah hopefully everything's gone fine right guys and here we have it the finished article and I think you'll all agree guys it looks absolutely fantastic just look at the the wrap that I've managed to do and to be honest I'm well impressed with the way I've, uh, I've done it uh, first time doing it but overall, I think it just looks fantastic um, in terms of the quality. I mean, it wasn't that difficult, guys. And I think the whole lot cost me uh, about £51, maybe something like that. £48, £51 or something for the whole cabinet to be made. And I think that's for ex excellent value. I was looking at cheaper. I was looking at some cabinets and they were in excess of like 100 quid, 125 quid. And I thought, let's do this as a little bit of an experiment. See how we go. See how we get on. And yeah, see if I could do it. There's my dog just stretching. Um, yeah, and see if we could uh, see if we can do it. And to be honest, I think you'll all agree. I think it's turned out absolutely fantastic. The hex board that I uh, was going to that I said I was going to wrap turned out brilliantly. Well impressed with the way that turned out. And uh, yeah, just a little bit of thought, a little bit of planning, and um, yeah, just getting off and uh, doing it yourself and thinking, you know what, I'm going to give it a try. See how it works out. This was the first time ever I've ever tried this. You know, in terms of getting the 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 wood cut and stuff like that totally new to me guys um i'd rather just buy something and get it all up and running and that's it but uh yeah i thought you know what let's get something let's try something different see if i can do it and yeah i think it's turned out fantastic now the little containers that i'm going to be having in here in in just here these are the ones i can't find them and mrs put them somewhere now um we're still start sorting things out but yeah those containers are going to go in there they're going to have the um test kits you know some of the test kits that i have the powders the you know the foods and stuff like that all the stuff that i use in the tank um obviously underneath here this can be for, for numerous things. Obviously, the power kit, a lot of the power cables are all going to be going in here, guys. But I've made this cutout, obviously, where the cables are going to go through from the socket. And then I made a cutout just here for on this ledge. And my idea, my thinking of this is I'm going to lift this up, up here like that. And then I'm going to use all of uh, the major power bricks, like the, the Ecotex, which are quite big. I'm going to use them and I can store them. I mean, that needs a bit of oil on it. <laughs> but yeah, I can store them underneath here and that gives me all that space then to be able to put things. Now, if I change my mind and I decide to put the Trident in there, like I mentioned before, or maybe something like the uh, the, the KH Keeper or new, um, you know, something new that I might get on in the future. You never know. I can, I've always got that space there. So I'm gonna book, I've got plenty of space to get to, to go there. Maybe even a 10 litre drum. I could put a 10 litre drum in there um, with with uh, if, when I start dosing the cow croissant, which I probably will be doing anyway. Um, yeah, overall, I think it's turned out fantastic. Um, and there's no, you know, and it was fairly straightforward to do in all honesty. 
the dog having a walk around uh yeah it was so so easy to to to, to put together now on this hex board i've got a plan i was thinking of getting maybe a uh you know a monitor you know just a cheap like uh like ipad type thing to go in here which can show me the display of the um of the the apex maybe split it into two that you can do and have part of it showing the apex and part of it showing um all the mobius um, and then obviously i've got to have my controllers down here i'm gonna have my three controllers uh my two wave makers uh probably the wave maker going across here as well um and the the three um the three vortex so i'm gonna have the uh return i'll sorry i'll have the in the center i'm gonna have the return pump the s2 and then on the both sides i'm gonna have the uh wave makers i'm gonna be having the uh mp10 and i'm gonna be having the mp40 now obviously i've got the gyre don't know when i'm gonna stick that i might actually just put that in the cabinet but uh yeah i want to make it all nice and and streamlined really to be on this one i want to make it like all eager tech to, in all honesty make it look a proper proper board and like i said the screen which could maybe go there but um i don't know until i figure it out i'm gonna get it all wired within the next few days um fingers crossed i'm gonna be getting the rockscape in about two or three days i reckon from my mate scott um he's doing the scape and then i'll do a video on that um yeah showcasing that but uh, uh he sent me a few pictures of what it looks like and i'm over the moon with it it looks really really good i think it'll fit absolutely perfect in the tank but that's for another video but yeah hopefully guys you enjoyed this video and hopefully let me know what you think about this if it's a thumbs up or if it's a thumbs down, comment below. As always, I really appreciate you all following me um, on this journey, especially on this new build. And until next time, guys, really appreciate it. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you on the next video.